So we died the last time, of course we did, what's new with deaths and evil within, but hey we did. So now we're going to do all of this again, defuse the bomb, hopefully we, yeah I was about to say, hopefully we don't screw that one up. Pick up the syringe, I'm pretty sure there's another bomb we forgot to defuse, but that will be for another time. Let's pick up this, and we're going to press the switch, and we're going to encounter our enemy again. Oh, there's the switch, there's the bomb. So I'd say I knew there was another one, and we defused that one. Just gather as much parts as we can, because we are getting to the end of the game. And what we want to do is actually, well, beat the game in this video. So we are close to the end, and this is what I'm going to call... Well, the finale for the main story. We've been doing this for... we. I've been uploading this for... Wow. I think I've been uploading this for about... <laughs> nearly three months, to be exact. And we still got a DLC to do, so... We're practically thinking that this might go until the end of the year. Unless I change my plans and start uploading DLC every day, but I don't want to change my schedule. That'll just be against me. But, yeah, this game has lasted longer than expected, if I was honest with you. But, hey, I enjoyed my job, and I enjoyed doing blind Let's Plays. I seized this opportunity, and I don't regret it. Okay, that one worked. So did that one. Alright. Where is that going to work? Nope. No, it didn't. Oh, wait, there's, is that a bomb? No, that's not a bomb. I was going to say, that's a bomb. No, it's not. Okay, let's get my gun ready. One, two, run away. Right, prepare. Freeze you. Explosion? Kaboom! How about another one? Kaboom! Right, oh, wait, what? What happened? Okay, we need to start running away. Oh, wow. That actually blocked me. Well, okay, game. That's a bit nice. What the? It blocked me again? Okay, that was rather unexpected. Alright, so let's quickly keep running away. I suppose the only way we're going to um, do this is by running away. <coughs> Freeze you, because I don't mind. Let's build some bolts. There we go. There we go. There we go. We've got 17 left. I don't think I've built my bolts very well in terms of this gameplay. But we never know. Right, can we? Yeah, I suppose we'll do fine. Right, let's equip, this, uh, let's equip the bow. Hello? Where are they? You're running very late. Oh, I was about to say you're running very late. Eat harpoon. And another. Cause an explosion, because why the hell not? Okay, that seems good. Throw that. Uh, well, okay, seems they're not coming this way, so... I'm just gonna grab this. Oh, you are coming this way. Oh, that's one of them down. Well, again, we got one of them down last time. Right, one. Yeah, you can throw your little little um, weapon at me. You're not going to get me. Alright, get up. Thank you. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to pick this up. 8,000 blood points. Uh, I mean, green jail points. Good God, stop calling. Oh, look, he's dead. Oh, wow, he, he got cut in half. But either way, he is dead. Yakety yak, don't come back. I'll take those blood points. Oh, 20... Green jail points, for God's sake. Green jail points, not blood points. Even till this day, I am still calling them blood points. No wonder why this game always gets me killed, because I keep saying blood points. Maybe this game is telling me, hurry up and finish this so you can get lost, because you keep calling them blood points and you are playing the wrong game. By the way, the game I'm talking about is Dead by Daylight, which came out three years after this game. So, yeah, I think this game is getting angry at me 
constantly calling it blood points. <laughs> Most of the time I do call it blood points, I do end up dying. So don't be surprised if I die in a fo- Yeah, we, 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 he's really watching us throughout this entire time. We did look into his eyes, so we're ended up in this place. Which doesn't surprise me whatsoever. But yeah, here we are. I'm guessing that this place is also filled with a lot of traps. This is a place that Ruvik has been controlling, so... Being in his mind, let's see what happens. Huh? Okay, what is going on? Oh, I think it's because I'm stepping on the lights. Okay, so I've got to avoid the spotlights. Otherwise, it's going to send me back. Okay, I get it now. Right, just keep running. Just get away from the light. I see the light. Right. So far, so good. Uh-oh. All right, let's move now. Take our time. Don't want to get spot. Oh, don't want to get spotted. Right now we can move. Then hide here. Then move here. Okay, so that that's sorted. Right, which one do we push? This one. Uh, I don't know what that did, but cool flex. Okay. Okay, so we need to avoid the spotlights again. Alright, so we're doing... Okay, I guess. Right, let's press this. Oh. We just led another device. Alright. Oh, hi, bombs. Are you going to give me more part? Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, that was a bit smaller than usual. Okay, we can't touch those because we're going to die. So let's quickly squeeze ourselves in between like this. Well, teams were maneuvering around this place. You know what? I'm loving it. This challenge is very good. I do like it. Plus, there is an evil within. Right, so let's quickly try not touch that one. <gasps> Ooh, that was close. Wow. Oh, jeez, of course. What would the Evil Within game be like without something chasing us from behind? Oh god, that was dumb. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh, oh, oh! Yep, that's what we get. Haha! <laughs> okay. I guess Sebastian's trying to say, Hurry up and get the hell out of my game! Like, you've killed me enough, which I have. I've technically... I believe um, in my playthrough, even though you haven't seen it, because I edit it out, um... I've died more than 50 times, I can admit that. Obviously, I've kept in most most deaths that I've done. Some of them are dumb, so I'd rather not have them in there. Let's run around there. Run here. Run here. And we're through. I see the light. We're back out here again. Okay. What's going on? Hello? Who's here? Oh, it's just an empty place. Kick down the door. Okay, nothing's in this room here. Nothing to go boot. And we're going to go here. Do we have to go through this door again? I think so. But yeah, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's no green gel points or nothing around this way, so... Yeah, I think we just need to go through this room again. <laughs> right. Yeah, it feels like we've been here before, technically, because we have. Yeah, we have. We've been here before. Now it feels like we've been taking full circle, so... Can we go here and go in the electric chair? Nope, the electric chair. See? 
We have been here before. So where is the electric chair? Since we can't go in the hospital anymore, there is there is an electric chair. That door can't open. So it looks like we can't use um, the green gel points that we just earned. Well, that sucks. So it looks like we've done our final bits of upgrade in the previous part, despite getting 16,000 um, green gel points earlier by killing those two um, crazy executioner enemies. Right. Let's go up. Yeah, I'm expecting this finale to be cutscene heavy, as always, from every game. Finales tend to be... Ha! You're saying you're never stepping in water again or going in the elevator again, so I don't blame you. After all what you've been through in this nightmarish uh, mind of Ruvix, yeah, uh, elevators and water are the two worst things you don't... You don't want to find yourself in. We're here again? This is kind of strange. Normally, I'm expecting some little bathtubs or something. Oh. That's us. So we are sleeping. We are in somebody's mind. Losing our minds. Hi, Leslie. We're back here again. This was only like an imagine imagining last time. This time we're actually here. Leslie, stop. Leslie! Look at us, we're sleeping in a bathtub. Where are we going? Uh oh. This doesn't look pro- Oh god, we're going in the brain? Technically I shouldn't be surprised anymore because of the fact that my theory is right. We are technically living in someone's mind right now. So we're not dead. We're sleeping. So that crash that happened. That crash actually happened? Oh god. I've got a lot of questions right now. Ugh. Oh god. Well, this looks like to be our final boss. Aye.
Can we wake up, please? Losing our minds. Losing our minds. Losing our minds. Losing our... Oh! We're dead. We're totally dead. Alright. <laughs> Let's keep going now. Dodge you. Okay. Uh, let's run this way. Just keep dodging. Just dodge as much things as you can so that we don't die. Okay, hi. Bye. Hi. Nope, don't think so. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can run here. Damn, Ruvik is angry. Uh oh. Right, we need to quickly run. God, if there's one thing Sebastian probably doesn't want to do. Is be in a building, be in water, be in an elevator or a vehicle again. I don't think Sebastian wants to do any of those things ever again. And I personally wouldn't blame him. Oh my Christ. Uh oh. Oh look we got a turret. Alright, buckle up man, we're going to kill you. Where are we going to shoot? Oh his hands, of course we're going to shoot his hands. I don't think this is going to work for the long run, but hey, I'm going to shoot him in his brains. Might as well shoot him in his face and his brains. And his hands. Okay. I don't think that this is going to work in the long run. Because he's got a bunch of hands and whatnot. We're likely going to get smacked off this term of this vehicle. It's just us and a turret. As long as the hands stay away from us, I don't think we should die. Right, so Sebastian, a lot of work to do. Hopefully it works. Aha! So we broke the glass of the brain. Good. So we're kind of there. But we got to um, shoot the brain itself. Oh! This is not good. Whoa! Ow! God, we're trapped. Is there any weapons that we can get? Oh, never mind. Seems my words have been spoken. We can get a rocket launcher. Is that going to be our final choice of weapon to kill Ruvik, a rocket launcher? As long as it gets Ruvik out of our minds forever. Alright. we got to not waste these. Right, so... Oh, we already waste one. Okay, that one we didn't. And again, that one we didn't. Okay, we're supposed to shoot him in the head. Okay, that one worked. Okay, we've missed quite a few, actually. Yeah, this is not helping our cause. I think we might die here if we run out of bullets. Wait, where's he getting all of them bullets? Ah, uh, we'll ask questions later. Kaboom! Ha <laughs> ha! Right, there we go. Oh, we got three more. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, we are totally dead. Plus, we just missed two just now. Yep, we're gonna die. Oh god, we're dead. I'm gonna say my prayers. And say goodbye to the world. Because Ruvik's about to kill us. Goodbye, world. Ah! Okay, this time we're gonna take um, our time. And by that I mean with the rockets, because the rockets ain't always hitting him more in the previous in the previous time that wasn't hitting him, so I suppose we need to do things better than what we did there. Hi. Right. Let's see. Oh we could zoom in. Okay, that hit. So that's one. Try and aim for the head or his body. That works, see? Take our time. Take our time, even though we're losing our minds. Aha! Here we go. Right, go for the head. Oh, that was terrible. Go for the head. Boom! 
Now we can aim for his brain. Or try to. Hello. We are doing awful. Hi. Oh, we're dead, aren't we? Oh, we're dead, aren't we? We are totally dead. Or are we? No, we're not! I think we're alive! Oh my god, can't you just die already? Uh oh. I think the answer's no. Oh. I think... Oh, we're not dead. Wow. I knew it! We were inside his mind this entire time. So if we died, we would have permanently stayed dead. Let's destroy this stupid brain. Step on it. Finish it. Do do do. Sebastian wins. Fatality. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one can. We're finally awake. Well, he's dead. He's dead. Who else? What about Joseph? Is he dead too? Well, yeah, he got shot by Kidman. <laughs> How did we survive a gunshot anyway? I guess it's plot armor. Wait, so who was in that, Kidman? Oh, Leslie. I guess they took Leslie away. Of course, Kidman said um, they're taking someone and leaving two. So they left me and they left Jimenez and um, Connolly because they're dead. But me, they kept in there. And I'm guessing Joseph died, so he stayed there too, actually. So I'm guessing Kidman and that mysterious woman. I guess that um, they took um, they took some um, Leslie. You know what? I also have another theory.
Is there anyone else? Just give me some real fresh air. Is that Leslie? I'm pretty sure that's Leslie walking off. Yeah, I think that was because only Leslie can do that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the story, the main story of The Evil Within. That was a great game. Oh yeah, and um, in advance, I'll tell you that um, I cut out some of the credits, so you might see the credits not finished fully. But yeah, what do I think of this game? For the first time playing it, I did buy this game in 2017, the same time as Evil Within 2. Okay, but I bought Evil Within 2 like um, two months after, so that it can get cheaper, but um, enough about that. But this was a quite an enjoyable experience. Um, I'm glad I waited um, those amount of years to let's play it now. I'm kind of glad I did, actually. So yeah, I'm glad I played this game now. It is never too late to play anything, really. And um, yeah, you could tell this was heavily inspired by the same makers of Resident Evil, even the developers were behind it. It just had Resident Evil vibes to it. But yeah... Um, before you guys were thinking, um, I cut myself off. I did, because the cutscene was still going. Um, and they were talking afterwards. But yeah, um, it was about... Um, I wanted to say something about Sebastian's wife. Could it be that that um, woman with the glasses that was next to Kidman is Sebastian's wife, Myra? Because, you know, yeah, they pronounced the deceased and whatnot and missing... You know, there's no person is dead until you find a body, so yeah. I think Sebastian's wife is part of the STEM program, or the one um, of uh, being in it with Kidman. That might be me, but hopefully I find out some more as I play the DLC, which will start next week. Yep, I'm, I'm jumping straight back into this game. Of course, I'm giving myself a few days break, so um, obviously you get a few days break, because um, it uploads on Monday, so yeah few days break from uploading Evil Within, and then um, I will be doing um, the DLC. So hopefully I will learn much more in the DLC, because I'm still more curious. I still want to um, connect the dots and whatnot. I'm, um, I'm very excited because of the fact that I, I um, want to learn more about this game. And will I be playing number two? Yes, I will. But not immediately, but I will definitely get Evil Within 2 done very soon. But yeah, I enjoyed the hell out of this game. And um, I'm glad that there's DLC in this game, so at least I can um, discover more and more about the lore of the Evil Within. Yeah, I enjoyed it for what it was, for sure. The characters were um, somewhat likeable. Sebastian just is Sebastian. Sebastian is like Leon to an extent of the things he goes through. Um, Kidman's like Ada. Joseph, well, <laughs> I don't want to say nothing about Joseph. I think he was useless. Personally, for me, I think he was useless. He was such a stupid character. Like when you're together, when you're together in a um, game where you need to survive, you don't want to separate and start shooting things yourself. And that's what Joseph kept doing. Which was annoying. And with Joseph doing that. I had to keep um, keep running and checking for his health. That annoyed me a lot actually. 
babysitting Joseph. Even though he can defend himself, the point is he should stick with me instead of running away and separating. But the AI tend to do that. Which is annoying. So yeah, Joseph was an annoying AI partner. Kidman, not so much. Kidman was fine. At least Kidman stuck with me. Even if she was, even if she didn't, I know she wouldn't have died. Jennifer Carpenter, I've heard of her. Yuri Lovell, I've heard of him. I've heard of a lot of these people. But yeah, this game deserves a solid 8 out of 10 for me. It's a brilliant start to this, and I can't wait to play the DLC and the sequel. I might bump up the rating because the DLC is obviously satisfaction, and the DLC wasn't too expensive, so yeah. I might bump up the rating once I finish playing the DLC. Oh yeah, and I skip the credits, because, um, yeah, special thanks. So let's check our rewards. After we check the people behind it. So, chapter 15 is clear. Machine gun acquired, that looks nothing like a machine gun. But yeah, that looks more like an assault rifle, if I'm honest with you. But yeah, I guess I'll play this down the line again. Probably will stream it where I can use the machine gun actually. A rocket launcher. Oh, that's even better. Might, I might play these on a uh, on New Game Plus. 50,000 skill points, aka green gel points, has been acquired. Cool. New Game Plus Plus model viewer. Cool. Thank you. That looks like a tidy model. You can now choose a different difficulty settings when selecting New Game. Again, thank you for that. Sixty-three deaths. I told you I died more than fifty times. But yeah, I cut out most of the deaths because I died a stupid amount. Fourteen hours. That's because I looked around every area to try and get as much things as I can. Plus, I kept dying. So, yeah, fourteen hours does justify that. But I've gained a lot more experience about this game, and I can hopefully die less when I next play. But sixty-three times. <laughs> I have no shame dying that m amount of times because. Yeah, this game <laughs> had its challenges, but I'm glad I beat it. 63 deaths, though. I was six away from six away from that magic number. But hey, we died 63 times. I am not surprised whatsoever. But yeah, maybe we should check into the models and whatnot. I probably should, right? Check into the um, extra additions because we will be doing the DLC. But man, I had a lot of fun playing this game. So let's save. Of course we're going to save, because, well, we beat the game. But yeah. Um, I suppose once I beat... Actually, no, we won't check the models. I'll do that once we beat the DLC. Once we beat the DLC, we can check the models and whatnot. But for now, in the next video, we're going to start the DLC on Monday. So Samurai Text is signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for subscribing. It means a lot to me. But for now, goodbye.